Dave, one person was killed, 12 others injured. All of them were construction workers. This is some video that pedestrians took of the scene yesterday. We know at least three or four are in critical condition. The explosion happened at Coriel Memorial Hospital in Gatesville, which is about 40 miles west of Waco. Witnesses say a generator exploded in an expansion area to the hospital that was under construction. The hospital chief executive says a gas line may have been involved. This morning, officials are still searching for possible missing people. They say those injured are suffering from severe burns and some had to be airlifted to a hospital in Dallas. Some patients were evacuated from the hospital after the incident, but officials say none of them were hurt. The explosion knocked out power for a large portion of the city, so two nearby nursing homes were also forced to evacuate. It's certainly catastrophic what occurred. I think we're very fortunate and blessed that there were no more injuries than there were. The reality sunk in real quick, and that was, okay, there's a, an upside that had happened at, near the hospital where, of course, professional medical staff would be located. But of course, then we're worrying about victims and those people that the hospital staff has to take care of in the process, which of course complicates their mission. A few of our local resources in Austin went up to Gatesville to help. Austin Travis County EMS sent five ambulances, a division chief and a district commander. They moved, also helped move about 50 nursing home patients out of the area. They were posting updates on their trip all throughout the night on Twitter. AFD sent three trucks and many crew members to help as well. No word on what caused the explosion, but officials are now looking into a possible gas leak in the hospital's boiler room. They'll give another update this morning at 1145. We're told the state fire marshal is now leading the investigation. Dave.